My family had this ethic that part of being human really was to be active in the public life of the community. Um, people who believed that if you were religious, you had to enact your religion through good works. How do you talk about democracy if that woman is suffering, if that child is suffering hunger, misery, violence? Who is this white North American woman who comes and preaches feminism to Latin American women? You know, what nonsense. My husband was very bad. He hit me. I wanted to go to the house. My first political action was a pray-in, which we held at one of the local churches, which was segregated. I wanted to bring change. I wanted to change the world. I always wanted to change the world. It was 1966 when I graduated, and it felt like the revolution was happening. The bottom line for Charlotte is women's rights are human rights. So this is her home and she was killed right there. Oh, no. I see, that close to her home. Yeah. yeah. We started the first women's liberation group in Washington in 1968. I had a very nice husband and we were equal partners. And then Rita Mae Brown entered my life. And we are going to do it as lesbians and gay men as well as building our own movement and our own power. I then started to form a group with Rita Mae that was a consciousness-raising lesbian feminist group, The Furies. I started taking advantage of any opportunity to go to another part of the world and just learn what women are doing. And it was in this time period that I met Roxana. So she was straight, but she didn't stay that way. It seems the only way to balance the gender of the audience is to take this testimony upstairs where the gender is imbalanced the other way. Charlotte helped me to become the woman that my government had warned me about. We used to talk about a revolution as a symphony of liberations. It's allowed me to keep working on one of the parts of that orchestra of liberations.